Hey everybody and welcome to the Bullsheep Party! And in this one we're gonna be taking a close look at the new podium vehicle, the Lampadori Casco. As always, I'm gonna be taking you on a tour of its exterior, its interior, the way it customized in Los Santos Customs, and ultimately I'm gonna be telling you if it's worth it or not. Probably not. But more on that in just a little bit. For now, let's stick with the 360 on the vehicle while I give you some facts about it. First off, this vehicle is based on the real-world Maserati 3500 GT or whatever it's called. In game, it's gonna cost you $900,000 or $700 if you've unlocked the trade-in price for it. It can sit two people, as you can see. It's part of the sports classics category in GT Online, and uh, well, that's pretty much it. Oh yeah, and it was released a while ago in 2015, which makes it about uh, well, makes it old. As for the way the vehicle, one second, as for interactivity, this is what you can do with it. Both doors, the hood, and the trunk. Mm-mm-mm, that's a good looking engine. Now, considering this is uh, kind of an older vehicle, well, actually a really, really old vehicle, I am not uh, really expecting a lot of customization, but hey, maybe it's gonna be different somehow, or whatever. In any case, that's the exterior of the vehicle taken care of, restore this, and Something that I really want to mention is something that I really like is the, the, the what you're seeing right here. How do I point? There we go. What you see right here, uh, you see how you can barely kind of almost sort of see the engine? Yeah, I really like that. And with that, let's, uh, let's jump in and I don't know why I did that. Let's jump in and look at how the interior looks and listen to how the car sounds. And here we are on the inside of the Lampadati Costco, and uh, hmm, yeah, not very impressed by what I'm seeing. Let's hear how it sounds though. Okay, the sound is on point. And with that, let's see, well, actually, let's do our scientific test to see what type of drivetrain we are dealing with here. And, uh, well, chances are it's gonna be a real-world drive car, and yep, it is. Um, something that I'm really liking and I'm seeing really cool is when you turn on the back, uh, whatever it's called, the uh, rear driver... The reverse, that's the word that I'm looking for. When you turn the reverse on, you know, when you start reversing with the car, you can see the little light lights up on the right-hand side of the bumper. Well, that's pretty cool. And with that, we're off to Los Santos Customs to see what we can customize on the Lampaduri. Now, as always, I'm gonna be sharing you my thoughts and impressions of the stock version of the vehicle. And first and foremost, I wanna mention that this vehicle has been on the podium before and it bombed. So I have no idea why Rockstar put it again there, but it is what it is. Uh, I don't remember anything about my review as always, so this is gonna be like a... Wow, the brakes are horrible. So this is gonna be like a completely new experience for me. So far my impressions are acceleration decent, top speed from what I can see is fairly decent, handling is very nice, and the brakes are absolute garbage. Just just probably the worst brakes. See, it doesn't even brake. Probably the worst brakes that I've seen in the entire game, which is saying much. And uh, yeah, nothing more to say about the stock version of it, it's uh, <clears throat> basically behaves how you'd expect it to. Well, uh, aside from, from that little accident, but y you know what I mean. It's kind of a decent vehicle, but is it, uh, is it worth $900,000? And keep in mind that $900,000 eight years ago is, isn't uh, $900,000 today, so keep that in mind. And as now? mentioned before, the Lampadori Costco is part of the sports classics category in GTA Online. As for how much money you can sell it for, well, um... Anybody surprised by this? No? Okay, moving on, repair the vehicle and upgrade all the performance options up front so you don't tell me that I'm a moron. Again. So let's see now, transmission and turbo. And even though I up upgrade all the performance options up front always, uh, sometimes I just forget and you guys can still call me a moron. That's okay. And uh, wait, where's the customization? Uh, there it is. Cool, we can... Customize the license plate color. Nice. We can respray the vehicle. We can lower the suspension. Okay. We can. Uh, oh, okay. That's it. <laughs> oh, yeah. That was fast. 
Oh, yeah, let's see now. Do, do I want to? Yeah, let's go with the light smoke. And I, I guess we're going to be changing the wheels, even though I like those, because I want the vehicle to be somewhat custom to me. Ooh. Yeah, those look kind of like the stock ones. In any case, these are all the muscle car wheels that we can choose from. Mm, nah, I'm not paying $60,000 for a pair of wheels. Or for a set of wheels? Probably a set of wheels. In any case, these are all the wheels, and wow, this is... Honestly, I'm bummed out at this point. <laughs> I wasn't expecting this. Now this is so expensive. Why is it so expensive? Tire, star design. Uh, not that look good. Tire enhancements. No, thank you. I want my tires to pop. <clears throat> okay, moving on to respring the vehicle, I guess. Th literally, literally, this is the worst customizing car I've ever seen in GT Online. You don't even have uh, uh, liveries that I usually hate, but I'd welcome them this time. At least it would have been something. But no, no, we don't have those. We we can uh, let's let's see now. We could customize the color of the license plate. Cool. And we can customize the 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 wheels. Cool. And we can um, uh, uh, put the tint on the windows, which is cool. And we can we can respray the vehicle. G great, great. So let's see. Uh, primary color. And as always, I asked you guys, the viewers of the bullshit party, to vote on what color do you want to uh, make the vehicle in the video you're watching right now and for this week most of you suggested midnight silver which is a color i'm pretty sure is part of the metallics category but i'm not entirely sure so let's just see oh there we go midnight silver oh, that actually looks kind of good okay midnight silver it is and thank you by the way to everybody that watched uh the poll and actually voted on the poll oh too bad i can't put chrome on there that would have been cool chameleon uh, and, uh, yeah, well, that, hmm. Hmm. Well. Well, free is free. Yeah, let's go with this. And, uh, w wait, that's the only secondary color? It only appears there? Well, that's lazy. In any case. Uh, crew emblem? Yeah, why not? And, uh, well, we're done. No, actually, we're not done. We can also change the wheel color to match the... Whatever. We can, I guess, make them red or, or something to match the bull sheep logo. Yeah, this is just lazy. I'm sorry, Rockstar, but this is not the way to make customizable vehicles. And here we are on the outside, and the car still sucks in terms of customization. Or... Maybe even further than that. Maybe it sucks just in general. Let's see now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, I can tell you that the brakes are still garbage. Still really, really bad. Those might be the worst brakes that I've ever had on the vehicle in the entire game. And keep in mind that I've been playing this... I was gonna say a naughty word for... Uh, for almost a decade at this point. Yeah, 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 it, uh, well, it makes me feel old, to be completely honest, but anyways, moving back to the vehicle, or going back to the vehicle, bye, English, uh, yeah, the vehicle, as you saw, customization is very, wow, wow, okay, uh, handling, uh, you remember how I said the handling is good in the beginning, uh, well, it's, it's really not, it's, it's good in it, it, at times, but most of the time it's very floaty and disconnected to the road. So, as you probably saw, just before I crashed, I was trying to maneuver, but the, the car just said, nope, 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 I'm going straight. So, yeah, uh, customization, 0 out of 10, and uh, performance is honestly like 2.5. And I'm only giving it two and a half because the acceleration for its class, for the sports classics, is kind of decent. And, uh, yeah, wow, those brakes are horrible. Those brakes are just other garbage. So the vehicle in total is like a one and a half out of ten. <laughs> one, one and a half out of ten, which is pretty well. Yeah, I gotta say, this is probably the one of the crappiest vehicles that I've seen in the entire game. I don't remember it being this bad. I don't remember anything about it. But yeah, I don't remember it being this horrible. Hmm. 
in any case that's gonna be the end of the video I hope you enjoyed it and uh, yeah that's um, yeah I'm, I'm just selling this after the vehicles after the vehicle I can't even, can't even speak anymore that's how upset I am after the vehicle said it again after the video is over what's wrong with me in any case thank you so much to everybody that watched please like the video please subscribe to the channel if the content is to your liking and you find it helpful or maybe at least a little bit funny and uh, with all that said and done Thanks so much for watching once again, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Wow, my character seems to be having a really good time inside. That's probably because he's clueless about what he's driving. Now let's go sell it.